Food is the building block for life itself. It determines our health and it's decisive for the health of our planet. Right now, food is driving some of our most pressing global challenges. From malnutrition and disease, to climate change, biodiversity loss and environmental degradation, and poverty, instability and inequality. Six years ago, I was tired of learning about all the things that were wrong with food. I wanted to find out how to make things right. So I asked what I thought back then was a pretty simple question. How do we feed the world a healthy diet without destroying the planet? To my big surprise, I found no answers, no consensus on what was good for both people and planets, and no targets, nor a plan for how to fix it. Not knowing what to do, I called the smartest person I knew, the famous Swedish scientist, Professor Johan Rockström, the man behind the Planetary Boundaries Framework. And together, we ended up starting EAT, to connect food, health, and sustainability agendas, and to bring key actors together to find solutions but most importantly, to find concrete answers. First, we reached out to one of the world's best experts on nutrition, Professor Walter Willett, and then to the editor-in-chief of the leading medical journal, The Lancet, Dr. Richard Horton. And together, we established the Eat Lancet Commission. For almost three years now, we thought it was going to take 18 months. But for almost three years, 37 top scientists from 16 different countries have been working to assess the best available evidence to set the first ever scientific targets for how to feed the world a healthy diet within safe environmental limits. And this event, this event is the official premiere of the EAT Lancet Report and the first of almost 40 launches around the world, co-hosted by UN agencies, by governments, by business networks, by health and environmental organizations across all continents. And for months, for months, politicians, journalists, people literally all over have been begging, they have been begging for a sneak peek of the report. But without luck, today is the day. We call it the world's most important lecture. Because getting it right on food is not only a prerequisite for achieving the Paris Agreement and deliver on the UN Sustainable Development Goals. It might indeed be our greatest opportunity to improve the lives of people everywhere and help secure our common future on planet Earth. Food is so important, so important because it connects our health to the health of the planet. More than 30 years ago now, Gro Harlem Brundtland, the former prime minister of Norway, she said, everything is connected to everything. Gro and the Brundtland Commission were among the first in the world to acknowledge how human development, including health, is closely interlinked to environmental sustainability. And now, now we realize that nowhere are the people and planet connections more obvious and more numerous than on our plates and across the food system. 
Secondly, food is important because it connects people. Some say that out of all the global goals, number 17, partnerships for the goals, collaboration, is the most critical, but probably also the hardest. But food brings stakeholders together across sectors, across disciplines, across borders, for the unifying goal of better lives and a better tomorrow. In a world of division, food has the power to bring all parties to the table. Last but not least, food is important because it matters to literally everyone. All over, decision makers are struggling to find bottom-up support for long-term and often abstract political agendas. But food connects global agendas to individual, everyday action in a way that is tangible, even tasty. In fact, food can allow people to make a positive difference every time they sit down to eat. And if everyone is given the opportunity to make better choices, food suddenly becomes an extremely powerful tool for change. For the first time in history, we have a framework to guide that change, with scientific targets for how we can achieve healthy people on a healthy planet. So finally, six years after my initial question, I could not be more proud to welcome and announce the co-chairs, Professor Walter Willits and Professor Johan Rockström to present the landmark report, Food in the Anthropocene, the Eat Lancet Commission on Healthy Diets from Sustainable Food Systems. So please give a big applause to the co-chairs. Thank you.